light blue and I mix a little ink to get a gray blue tone so my brush is loaded with light gray blue first then I touch a little bit dark ink to the very tip uh, and uh, dilute a little bit so there's a gradation from dark gray to light gray blue and I hold this this brush like uh, slanting position so I start from the back of the blue heron I start in the opposite direction first and gradually lift the brush and I load the brush again in the same fashion light blue gray a little bit dark ink okay the head is a head and a neck connected in one stroke head neck so notice the quick turn I made right after the head stop to a, a too big like a S letter, uh, that would be too loose, so it will not be very uh, nice shape. So make a quick turn between the the head and the, the neck. Here's the crown. And then I dry the brush, dry the brush with a paper towel, then load the dark ink, a little bit dark ink, not too much. So you got very dry brush, contrast with the wet body. <coughs> Now I change to a stiff brush to do the beak with dark ink. First of all, dot the eye. Because it's going to smear, so I dot a little dot. It will leave room for smearing. And the beak. Start from the heavy and lift the brush. Neck. That's the one. Let me repeat this. Load the gray ink. Sometimes I can start uh, directly from the head instead of the back. So I loaded the brush the same way with a gray, blue, and then a little bit, a little bit ink, tiny little bit. So this one is, I start from the head, turn, down, stop, avoid the beak, just like that. Then I dark ink please the tail okay. and uh, not back to stiff brush use stiff and stiff brush or working on you need to use paper towel adjust the uh, ink if I need a dry brush I don't want to too much in the brush. Okay. Now I just spray some, uh, I mean, splash some water.
If you like, you can also add rock to it. So the standing by the owner uh, see a big lake having a base. And finally, I add title and the singer. I chop that completes it. Thank you for watching.